Hi, I'm Becca, and this is Joel. We've journeyed all the way from Calgary, Alberta, to the warm, sunny country of the Baja Peninsula in our trusty van, Popple. In today's video, we're going to take you along as we try out some of the hottest restaurants in the Baja. Well, at least the ones we tried. It's like every bite I take is so flavorful. Mm. Well, I'll just sleep. Can you hear that rooster? Because it's just like non-stop all night long. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. I figure the best way to kick off today's video about food is to take you with us to a supermercado. These markets are each unique to the respective town, but you'll always be able to find the staple ingredients like chilies and frijoles. Well, what do we have here? What happened? We have friends! We have friends! Are you excited? Yeah. One of the amazing things about van life is the instant connections you make with others in the nomad community. Joel and I felt right at home with folks who understood the joys and frustrations of what it takes to live in a van. Sharing food and a fire with people you just met is more common than I ever imagined. You gotta stick your neck out for it. <laughs> List of uh, plato numero tres. It's probably the first time this has happened, but neither of us can really remember if we locked the van. I think we did. I'm the one who was sent back because I filled up faster. Let's just go check on the van because we're a little bit nervous about this. Here's a moment of truth. Oh, we locked it. Okay, I just put away like our computer and stuff like that in our secret place. So, we are good to go. Conscience is clean. All right. Yeah. Was it locked? You're a hero. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> How you feeling? A little bit buzzed. Oh yeah. man. It's like you drink three taste testers and they just give you the smallest little bit, but they literally it like these tequilas are like 38, 40%. <laughs> it's these little testers. If you have six of them, it's definitely at least a shot by the time you're done.
what's going on here? Oh, it feels so hot. That's what the ocean does to you. to go to the green room. <laughs> Too pretty to drink. It's so garnished. Wear socks and running shoes on the beach. Well, it's better than having that cringy feeling that makes my mouth elevate. You're gonna ruin your dinner? It might actually enhance the flavor because my mouth is elevating. Oh, well, that's a bonus. Right. Uh, we should have that's a little... why I've been contemplating this whole time. I'm like, just end the feeling. Sandwich well, we should get a little sand pit for underneath our dining table so it can help you salivate. <laughs> we can market it, make some money off of this idea. I think it's only you that causes you to salivate when you feed her in sand. Adios. This is like by far my most favorite like food experience in Mexico. It's just these like Tiny little roast chicken places. So good. Oh my gosh. There's some chicken for ya. Thank you for journeying with us this week. We can't wait to share our next adventure with you. Make sure to subscribe and we'll be seeing you in our next video. Take care!